Hi Sarah, you're the director of Cambridge School and we're here today on the oral exam day in Granollers for first certificate CA and proficiency students. So how many students are taking the oral exams today? Uh, I think around about 300, maybe a few more than 300 uh, people are doing it today. And uh, students used to have to go to Barcelona to do their uh, exams, but uh, how long have they been able to do the exams here in Granollers? Um, I think this is about the third year that people have been able to do it in uh, Granollers, which is so much better. And in fact, this year we've opened up a new centre as well um, in Moyet. So it's the first time that people could do the exam in Moyet. Okay. And uh, the first certificate is a very difficult exam. Uh, what's the pass rate? How many people pass the exam across the world? Uh, right, well the pass rate is about 50% actually. 50% pass and 50% don't pass. Um, um, and that's similar also for CAE and proficiency. I think for proficiency it's actually even less than 50%. Wow. It's a very difficult exam. And Cambridge School students, is our pass rate 50%? No, no, no. Cambridge School 75% pass rate for first certificate. Oh. Slightly lower for CAE and then proficiency is also slightly lower. Why do you think so many students want to do official exams like the first certificate? Um, well, I think they want to do it for um, uh, to be able to have um, an official uh, certificate to be able to put on their CV because I mean a lot of people when they're looking for to employ somebody uh, they 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 um, ask for uh, somebody to who has got a good level of English and they often ask the, whether they've got first certificate CAE or if they've got proficiency then that's even better. Um, so yeah, to be able to put on their um, curriculum vitae. Uh, I think some people do it just for motivation as well because it's um, once you get to a higher level it's more motivating if you've got if you're working towards an exam. And then there's another reason as well, um, for uh, universities in uh, Britain they sometimes ask um, for the CAE, um, occasionally first certificate's enough, but CAE and proficiency will get you into a British university um, in order to do um, an ordinary degree or a master's degree um, in Britain. Okay, and one last question. What advice would you give students today on the day of the exam? What should they do on the exam day? Um, well, I think they should try and keep calm. Um, I would suggest that they meet up with their partner if they know who it is before, maybe go for breakfast and try and speak in English up until the moment of the exam because it's quite difficult to just change your chip and start speaking in English immediately. So I would suggest that they have a little bit of a practice uh, and try and... Uh, but try and keep calm. Great, thank you very much. So, Carlos and Elena, today you've done the CAE speaking exam. How did it go? Well, pretty good. Yeah, I think we did quite well. Okay. And why did you decide to do the CAE exam? Because of the university. Because you needed to have, if, if you want to study a master, you need to have a CAE. Or if you do an exchange program as well. Okay, and how long have you been studying English? I think since I was six or seven. Yes, five or six or so. And are you, if you pass the CAE exam, are you going to carry on studying or is that it? I think it's that it. I think I will carry on. Okay, well thank you very much and I hope you've passed. Thank you.